we start off with a square sheet and we will first step is to fold a square base to fold a square base we just make horizontal folds here and flip over and make diagonals fold and once we have this pre-creased and we can collapse into a square base like this and do a squash on all these flaps Squash is just like this. And repeat it for all the sides. And open up, open up, and we go from the underneath. We want to fold along the diagonals like this. And as you can see this line here, when you reach this point, we want to make a fold a marking. And fold this side to align with this edge here. And the center mark, center line will be the intersection here. And repeat this step for all the four sides. This is the second one. And once these two are done, open up and fold the other side. And repeat. Just make a mark like this and fold. And open up and we want to collapse back to the fold just now so just uh, just do a pleating and we arrive back to this one and from the fold that we did just now we can do a reverse fold reverse fold is just bring this flat up and do it for all the four sides And once this is done, we want to pre-curl. And so this is a left-hand curl. So left-hand curl will be to curl on the left side. If you are right-hand curl, just curl here. Just make sure it is all the same. Oops. Curl all the four sides. Once you pre-curl, And we can proceed to go and uh, do this curling action. So you might be uh, might need to be a bit careful to not make it crumbly here. So you just want, might want to just press inside here to flatten it out. Press inside here, this edge. And once this is done, we have one unit. And assembly just will be just a regular 30 units and just snap two together like this and we have five entries so like this five here and we have three 